The Mariners Scott Service, he got rid of Luke Rayleigh because Oakland decided to bring in a lefty. And then knowing without knowing that Luke Rayleigh is a 286 hitter against lefties, including a home run, he puts in Mitch Garver, who has been having an absolutely atrocious of a season. Oh, but he has a, a good WRC plus against lefties. 17 career high home runs in 2019 with the Washington National. Here's the 0-1. And now here's a ground ball going to be a double play ball. Throw to second and throw to first. And that is in time for the double play. And the ball game is over. The Mariners will go down and lose game two of this three-game set against the Oakland A's. Mason Miller just barely got out of it. Not really. And must I say how frustrating that really was to watch because... Like mistakes that really made no sense at all was like the let's let's go over the game, shall we? So what happened was Mariners lost two to one. Logan Gilbert was pitching absolutely fantastic. You just couldn't take anything away from him. You really just couldn't because I mean he was pitching extremely well and you couldn't ask anything more out of him. Yes, he gave up that home run. Yes, he had that wild throw that caused the second run for Daz Cameron to score, Mike Cameron's son, by the way. And But here's the thing that really got me in this game that really bothered me. Other than the fact that the Mariners just played like absolute butt on offense in the first seven innings, of course, and then J.P. Crawford did break that perfect game. Mariners, of course, didn't score. So what really bothered me the most was in the top of the it was the top of the seventh inning, Mariners actually had an opportunity. Like they actually had runners in scoring position. And then what happens? Like what absolutely happens? The Mariners Scott Service, he got rid of Luke Rayleigh because Oakland decided to bring in a lefty. And then knowing without knowing that Luke Rayleigh is a 286 hitter against lefties, including a home run, he puts in Mitch Garver, who has been having an absolutely atrocious of a season. And for me to say is atrocious is an absolute understatement. Oh, but he has a, a good WRC plus against lefties. I don't care. That's not the analytics to look at. What about the fact that Luke Rayleigh's betting 286? And he's doing a lot better in this past month than he did in April. But granted, April, he didn't really use him at all. But I don't get it. And then Mitch Garver grounds out, which was really frustrating to watch. Like, this whole analytics thing is just not working. The way Scott Service does it, he does it a lot worse than what Oakland does. He's trying to do money ball when he doesn't even know how to do money ball. Like, it's all based on skill, not just analytics. Not when Mitch Garver has been playing like absolute garbage and he's been an absolute free agent bus. Like without those home runs, especially those key home runs, man, he'd be even worse. Now, top of the eighth, this is where it really, really got me. You had a runner on first, runners on first and second. Dylan Moore's up to the plate. There's absolutely no outs. And what I was thinking was the Mariners should have just bunted. Like, at least bunt because worst case scenario, you're going to get the runners on from first to second to second and third, and that could have gotten Josh Rojas to score on a sacrifice. Or Josh Rojas could have hit that fly ball, which he did, and that could have been the sacrifice fly to put it within a one-run game. But no, Scott Service said, no, you still got to hit. Dylan Moore strikes out. Josh Rojas hits it into a place where no, like, no, Dylan Moore strikes out. J.P. Crawford then puts in a position where you couldn't even move the runners either. And then Josh Rojas got out. Like, this was absolutely frustrating. And then you saw Julio Rodriguez hit that home run fine. But had the Mariners just bunt, just put the bat down and just let Dylan Moore bunt, or if maybe if Dylan Moore asserts himself and do it, does it, maybe this would be a tie game. This game would still be going on. So in my opinion, like, yeah, you can blame the offense for being absolute complete butt, but my issue is you should have bunted. My issue is like they're afraid of the bunting because they, they're not willing to play that small ball. They want to play that nice little nice home run kind of ball. And had the Mariners bunt, maybe this game would still be tied, still be going on, maybe a chance for a sweep. 
But now you have to play for survival to win the series so you don't go into Kansas City where you might actually lose that series. But those are my two takes on what this game was. Other than the fact that Oakland was pitching a perfect game, Scott Service puts in Mitch Garver over Luke Rayleigh when Luke Rayleigh's already hitting decent against lefties. And then ref the refusal to bunt in the top of the eighth inning. Those are what's cost the game. It's those little decisions that no one really pays attention to. Is They don't pay attention to these little decisions, which has been very costly. And that's why I think Scott Service is just not a good manager. And thank you for dealing with my rant on Mariners manager Scott Service. But if that was too much for you, here are some Mariners nostalgic videos. Or if you do like to deal with it, here's another video of me criticizing Scott Service.